Hello, my name is Bill Branley, and welcome to another edition of Noises Are Us. <clears throat> the title of today's topic is Amber Alert. Now that might seem like an unusual topic for a video about spiritual transformation, but follow me, follow me on this point. So in the area where we live, we have these things that come to our mobile phones and are called Amber Alerts. And when you get one of these Amber Alerts, there's usually a description of a vehicle that the authorities are looking for. And in most cases, the story behind it is <clears throat> um, an abduction of a child. That's frequently the case. So you get this alert describing a car and a license plate number, and if you see it, you're supposed to call the authorities. And it's usually a person who has you know, abducted a child. In many cases, it's a, a family of people who know each other but for various reasons, they're going through difficult times. So I got one of these Amber Alerts yesterday, and I began to wonder, what's really going on here? And so I want to throw out two ideas about what's really happening when people in our community are going through difficult times. So, one powerful spiritual idea that has been around for thousands of years and is still taught today in many traditions is the idea that we're really all one thing. All of humanity is really one phenomena with different aspects. So, the belief that we're not one thing is called the illusion of separation or separateness. So in this tradition, the guy who, or you know, the person, the man or woman who abducts a child um, is really us doing it. We are that person. That's happening to us. We're also the child being abducted and we're the siblings of the child and we're the spouse or family member of the person doing the abducting and we're the parents and brothers and sisters of the people who are involved in this. So we're all of them. And at the same time, we're also the person who composed this piece of music. <laughs> people know that as a piece of music by Franz Schubert, but under the concept of oneness, that's us. We compose that music. And all of us have done everything because we're all one. So any experience that anyone has or has ever had or ever will have, that's us having that experience. So that's a, that's a leap for many of us, embracing this idea of oneness. So what I would like to throw out today is kind of like a baby step toward oneness. Just a baby step to get you to, and get me to, the idea of oneness. And the baby step, in the case of this Amber Alert, is for me and you, and all of us to remind ourselves that we don't really know what's going on in the minds of people, even though in a sense we do know, but we aren't aware of knowing. We aren't aware that we know their thoughts. We aren't aware that those thoughts are our thoughts. So they have motivations and things that they're trying to do 
that we don't completely understand. And uh, so we, because we don't understand them, we could assume they have reasons for their behavior that make sense to them. And we could withhold judgment. We could withhold judgment about their behavior. And instead, when we get an Amber Alert and we realize this tense family situation is going on, we could treat it as a call for help. Because when someone's suffering and they take it out in some way that can possibly be violent or it can be undesirable for sure, that can be interpreted as a call for help. So an Amber Alert is kind of like a call for help. So if we withhold judgment and we treat it in that way and we feel some compassion for that person, I believe that gets us a step closer to the idea of oneness. And at least it gets us a step closer to understanding. Well, maybe we don't really know what's going on with people all the time. Maybe we should try to find out. Maybe we should practice more understanding. So that's really the message for today. And, but back to the idea of oneness, <clears throat> because we're all participating in what everyone else is doing, and we're all experiencing what everyone else is doing, I'm going to give you the opportunity right now to compose a piece of music. Because I'm going to play a piece of music that has never been played before. It's out there in the air. It's been created. No one's ever heard it. I've never heard it. But you're composing it because you are me. So this is your composition. job. Wow. That was, I want you on my next record. Thank you for listening to Noises R Us. Mm -hmm.